So, who's responsible for all the sound? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the sleepover cast. Where are they now? So, we decided to put together a little hunt. How are you? I think this is yours. Take care of the girls. For this list, we're looking at the stars of the 2014 comedy and where their careers have led them to this day. Which sleepover character was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Just follow my lead, I don't want you to ever be my Number 10, Jane Lynch, Gabby Corky. That's my mother. What is she doing? This is like... Mom's gone wild! After playing the role of fun-loving mom Gabby, Second City alum Jane Lynch went on to star in a string of supporting film and television roles, including her hilarious portrayal of Paula in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. You know, Javier, uh, before he made passionate yet gentle love to me for the first time, he serenaded me with a beautiful old Guatemalan love song. Really? Notable recurring roles include Diana Reed in Criminal Minds and ruthless cheer coach Sue Sylvester in the hit series Glee. Your performance, very same exam, unearthed the hitherto undiscovered grade, F minus. She more recently can be seen on the small screen in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, the animated series Final Space, and the Netflix comedy Space Force. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. I don't think there's air in space. Lynch has also gone on to host her own TV show, Hollywood Game Night, as well as hosting the 63rd Primetime Emmy Awards in 2011 and publishing her autobiography, Happy Accidents, that same year. She was married from 2010 to 2014 to psychologist Laura Embry. Number 9. Steve Carell, Officer Sherman Shiner. Before he was the A-list celebrity we know today, Steve Carell played the movie's overzealous patrol tech officer. So, who's responsible for all the sound? His breakthrough role came as middle-aged Virgin Andy, reuniting with cast member Jane Lynch in 2005's The 40-Year-Old Virgin. No, Kelly Clarkson! That same year, he landed the role of Michael Scott on the hit show The Office. There's somebody I'd like you to meet, somebody else who has been to prison, who can tell you what it is really like. I'm Prison Mike! His star continued to rise with Get Smart, Despicable Me, and Anchorman 2 The Legend Continues. Next, we are going to steal! Pause for effect. Carell has also taken on more serious roles, including his Academy Award-nominated performance in the true crime drama Foxcatcher. I understand. I understand. I'm going to need you, and uh, I will be relying on you to a great extent. This multi-talented performer more recently starred on the Apple TV Plus series The Morning Show and reunited with Lynch again in Netflix's Space Force. I only wish that my parents could have been here to see this but they were unable to get flights from New Jersey in time. He's been married to fellow actor and writer Nancy Walls since 1995. Wait, hey, hey, I am a security officer! I took a two-week course! Number eight, Callie Flynn Childress, Yancey Williams. Yancey, I'm Yancey. We had P.E. together all year. For her turn as the timid and self-conscious Yancey, actress Callie Flynn Childress won Best Performance in a Feature Film Supporting Young Actress at the 2005 Young Artist Awards. However, over the years, she has remained relatively under the radar, appearing mainly in minor guest spots on a few television shows, including Days of Our Lives, CSI Miami, Cougar Town, and Good Luck Charlie. How about we introduce tacos to our menu? Too easy, too expected. She also appeared in the 2011 short film Dark All Around and recorded a single for the 2009 thriller The Vision. Childress's most recent credits include working on The Voice as a production assistant from 2015 to 2016 and as a vocal assistant in 2017, along with a minor role in the 2019 drama Falling. Number 7. Mika Borum, Hannah Carlson. Take care of the girls. Already a seasoned child actor with multiple credits under her belt, Mika Borum made her transition into teen films as best friend Hannah. She's kept busy over the years with steady work in various films, including Indies, Smile and Trucker, TV movie The Initiation of Sarah, and horror flick The Ward. Other projects include guest spots on House and Ghost Whisperer, and a feature in David Cook's 2008 music video Light On. 
In recent years, Borum has turned her attention to directing, completing the short film Love Thy Neighbor in 2015, winning the Best Director Award at the Hang On To Your Shorts Film Festival. Her feature-length debut, Hollywood.com, is set to be released in 2021. We're sending somebody to Guatemala To and track down all the things that'll make it authentic. Number 6. Sean Ferris, Steve Phillips I think this is yours. He's fondly remembered as the high school dreamboat and best friend to Greg, played by Douglas Smith. Get Steve Phillips' boxer shorts. <laughs> That's where my boxers went. His following roles varied from the family comedy Yours, Mine, and Ours to a string of leading parts in mostly sports-related dramas like 2008's Forever Strong and Never Back Down. Q's already, Captain. And we always have at least two. But he can't stand me, the same with half the guys this out there. This isn't about them, it's about you. From 2004 to 2005, Ferris starred in two separate TV shows that were both cancelled before the end of their first seasons, and made various supporting appearances on The Vampire Diaries, Pretty Little Liars, and Supernatural. I'm Officer Holbrook, Pennsylvania State Police. My partner and I are investigating the murders of Officer Reynolds and Detective Wilden. While also lending his voice to Jack Rourke in the 2011 video game Need for Speed The Run. It was revealed that he wed actress Shuri Daly at Burning Man in 2017. Number 5. Scout Taylor Compton, Farrah James. Okay, we can almost reach. <sighs> Come on. Okay, stop! Stop pushing! It's easy to forget that this scream queen also played one of good girl Julie Corky's best friends. Following her first major Hollywood film role, Taylor Compton snagged guest spots in various TV shows before debuting in her first horror flick, 2006's Wicked Little Things. The following year, she landed the part of Laurie Strode in Rob Zombie's Halloween remake and its 2009 sequel, followed by April Fool's Day, Lifeblood, and Ghost House. Other projects include extensive voiceover work, rocking out as Lita Ford in The Runaways, and releasing an album in 2007. But it's true. She's always the center of every photo. Lately, Scout has kept busy, with multiple films in post-production for the near future. Number 4. Evan Peters, Russell Spongebob Hayes Did you guys already pay any rage skater boy Steve? This brooding AHS star played the dim-witted skateboarder known as Spongebob. Post Sleepover, he obtained supporting parts in TV and films, including sci-fi series Invasion, hey, your dad likes being on TV, doesn't he? An American Crime, Never Back Down featuring co-star Sean Ferris, and Kick-Ass. Well, that's not superhero, though. How's that super? Super's like being stronger than everybody and flying and shit. That's just hero. Peter's breakthrough moment happened in 2011 when he landed the role of Tate Langdon in the first season of American Horror Story, going on to star in almost every season. It's a filthy goddamn helpless world. Next, he joined the X-Men franchise as Quicksilver in X-Men Days of Future Past and its sequels, and starred in 2017's American Animals, and most recently the Australian biopic I Am Woman. Oh, you must be the birthday girl. I am. Well, I have absolutely no idea who you are. Hmm, that's all about to change. His on-again, off-again relationship with co-star Emma Roberts has been widely publicized since 2012, but the two finally called it quits in 2019. Number 3. Sarah Paxton, Stacey Blake You have one of those Polaroid sticker cameras, right? But of course, use it to document the tasks. Here's the list. We start at 8, sharp as nails. The mastermind behind the infamous scavenger hunt, Stacey was a mean girl who got beaten at her own game. That same year, after completing her first major film role, Sarah went on to star as lead Darcy Fields in the series Darcy's Wild Life, receiving an Emmy nomination for her work on the show. Paxton was also cast in the teen fantasy Aquamarine and recorded a song for its soundtrack, contributing songs to several other projects as well. I'm guessing it was a mermaid. Later achievements include various supporting roles in TV and movies, like Return to Halloween Town, Sydney White, The Last House on the Left, and Twin Peaks. Girls, why don't you show this one the koi pond? Ooh, I love koi ponds. Great. Off you go. She can be seen on Good Girls, and in 2019, married her longtime partner, Zach Kreger. I'm not saying I needed to be Anne Hathaway famous, but I definitely should have been John Krasinski's wife level. Number 2. Brie Larson, Liz Daniels Honk honk outside. Got the beamer. Let's get out of here. Brie played Liz, a snotty bully who was held back a year. Pre-superstardom, Larson dabbled in a short-lived music career, releasing her debut album, Finally Out of P.E. 
She also won various roles in film and television, notably The United States of Terra, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and 21 Jump Street. So are you saying if he wasn't talented, it would be less sad? Her breakout performance came in 2013's Short Term 12, and two years later, she received universal acclaim, as well as an Oscar, for her performance in Room. You got bad tooth? One of the newest additions to the Marvel Universe, Larson portrayed Carol Danvers, also known as Captain Marvel, in the 2019 film of the same name, and joined the cast of Avengers Endgame. I have nothing to prove to you. Along with upcoming TV and movie projects, fans can also check out her recent YouTube channel. Why am I starting a YouTube channel? Great question. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Alexa Penavega, Julie Corky. Who else do we need? Let's go! Mostly remembered as Carmen Cortez in the Spy Kids franchise, this child actress also starred as our insecure teen protagonist. She's appeared in many different projects over the years, mixing lead and supporting roles in both film and television. Hey, what was that about? What's wrong? In 2005, Pena Vega was cast in the Lifetime movie Odd Girl Out, and the following year in an HBO film titled Walkout. Come on! In 2008, she played Shiloh Wallace in the cult musical Repo, the genetic opera. I'm infected and snagged the lead on the ABC sitcom Ruby and the Rockets. Alexa has also appeared on Unsupervised, Big Time Rush, Dancing with the Stars, and multiple Hallmark Channel movies alongside her second husband, Carlos Penavega. The couple has two sons together and started the YouTube channel Lex Loves Los in 2012. <laughs> He's just like his daddy. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.